Here's my solution for creating a one button dissolve between the audio tracks in Final Cut Pro 10 while leaving the video as a cut. I've uh, created a macro and for controlling that macro I'm using an Avid MC Transport control surface which apparently aren't being sold anymore or aren't available anymore but you could use any type of macro uh, software app as well. Before I create the macro I'm going to go into the command editor for the keyboard shortcuts and assign shortcuts to the audio fade in and audio fade out which in 10.4 I don't know if it was in 10.3 but in 10.4 it is not assigned. So I'm going to come up here to the search bar, type in fade, and then down here you can see I've got toggle fade in, I've done shift command F, and toggle fade out, I've done option command F. So you need to do that uh, in order to uh, accomplish the rest of the macro that I'm about to show you. So I'm going to bring up the uh, interface for creating the macro and I will take a look at this first one here and this series of uh, key uh, shortcuts is what makes up the macro to uh, do what, I'm, what I think I've accomplished correctly. We've got an existing shortcut by the name of shift open bracket which uh, selects the audio only as an edit uh, point in order to do a, a trim on it and then these next four keys are basically saying add 10 enter which would then expand just the audio forward 10 frames which would then push the B clip audio underneath and then uh, the next one is I'm going to do a command down arrow which would select both the audio and video of that clip and then I'm going to use that custom uh, audio fade which I have discussed earlier shift command F which creates a fade on that clip and then I'm going to do a command up arrow which selects the A clip and then option command F in order to do an audio fade on that. Okay, so this is the result of that. So I'm going to select this, I'm going to hit my macro and whoosh. So you see we've maintained a cut between the two video clips, added a fade, and then added a fade here. So essentially what you've got is now a cross dissolve. Now I've also created a macro, and I'm not gonna go through it because it's essentially the same except backwards in order to do a dissolve so that the dissolve would lead the uh, A and the B clip point, cut point, I mean. So hopefully that makes sense. It's a one button push solution. I can't do multiple all at once but at least I can just go through and select a, a, an edit point, then hit it, a one button, and then whoosh, it's done.